what you have to think about when you get out. <laughs> <laughs> See, but this is what you've got to. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of guys you don't get along with when you're locked up. But then yeah. you end up meeting, more than you do get along. With. Yeah, a lot more. But then you end up meeting somebody you do get along with, and what's the likelihood that you guys are ever going to see or talk to each other again once you're out? Me and him. Never know. We could. Yeah, we could. Because we don't live too far from each other. Really? Oh, wait, you're. Okay, you're from Dun Scott, Scottsburg. But ain't really that far. About a one road. <laughs> yeah, two hour drive. Yeah. An hour and a half, something like that. Because, yeah, you, some kids tell us, you know, you come in by yourself, you leave by yourself. You know, you That's don't. true. I mean, that is true. So you gotta look at it for real. I mean, can't, can't nobody get you out of here but yourself. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're going to be here, you're going to be locked up for one or two years. Yeah, you might as well make it as easy as possible, for real. Yeah, I mean, people talk about coming in here and just staying to themselves their whole time. That's not going to happen. I tell you right now, it's not going to happen. It's losing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to talking to yourself, end up down long term. Yeah, like Hancock. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. Man. I remember Hancock. We were down inside with Hancock. That dude's nuts. Man, he's something else. Yeah. So, how, like, say you went down to SAG. Yeah, I was a long term. So, how do you feel when you see somebody like him get taken down to SAG? Are you guys don't just say. Like, yeah, it's like, dang. Sucks to be it's kind of like when you're on outs and you see somebody go to jail. It's just yeah. it's weird. He'll get out. It's kind of about all I can say about it. People go to SAG, that's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not hard me. to stay out of SAG. So I ain't worried about it. Yeah, because SAG's a whole different. We filmed down there a lot. That's just a whole different place. Yeah, I was down there the uh, first time you guys came. Were you? Yeah. I was in the shower when y'all was filming. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's hard when we're down there filming because nobody's out. So we can't tell for yeah, the most part. Go right up to the doors. What makes you most crazy about being in SAG? Just being. The. Probably the. Probably the isolation. That's probably the worst part about it. Just being like away from everybody. Like you don't like hardly ever see anybody down there, and it gets to your head. What and are you doing in that cell all day? <sighs> sleep. Um, and long term, you can get books and stuff like that. So I mean, read, listen to the radio. But uh, they don't have long term no more. It's uh, it's all admin and. I guess you can't get no books or nothing, so I don't, hopefully I ain't got to go down there and do that again. But Especially as a teenager, to be stuck in that cell, I'd, I'd go crazy. I'd go crazy. It's, you kind of do. Yeah, you I was only in there for 22 days. I couldn't handle it. I was ready to get out. Probably 11 and a half months. You know <laughs> so how do you get out? Just behave? Yeah, they kind of... Uh, I'm not sure how it works now, but back when they had long term, it was like a level system. You had a uh, level uh, one, two, three, four, and five, then you had to go through release. And uh, it's kind of work how it is out here. Like you have uh, like treatment team and stuff like that. You go up, you get your level. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like how it is out here. And it's like me, I didn't, I didn't have to do the whole program down there. If I'd had to do the whole program, I'd have probably been down there 13, 14 months. But they let me out early, so. See, what I can't figure is what, what, and we all talk about this all the time, is how do we help, before kids your age get into trouble, what can adults do to help stop you guys from getting in trouble in the first place? Really or is just, that all up to your family today? It? It's really all up to the individual. Yeah. It just, if you're going to, you know what I'm saying, if you, you're going to break the law, you're going to do it. You got your mind set. People then. tried to talk to us. People tried to do, you know what I'm saying, work with us. We just I don't did. know. We I wanted to do what we wanted to do. We wanted to, you know what I'm saying, rob people. We wanted to use drugs. We wanted to sell drugs. We wanted to tote guns. This is what we wanted to do. But nobody was stopping. I don't know so how many people. Just, I, had, I had come up to me and tried to tell me, I mean, the, the way to do things and the way to stay out of trouble, but I just, yeah. I never listened to them. It's, it's all on the individual. If, if like, People can tell them like all day, every day, what to do and like how to stay out of trouble and stuff. But it's on the person to do it. And some people just they gotta go through this to learn. You think it's something you grow out of as you get older? Some people, some people yeah. don't. 
some people learn, some don't. Yeah, you basically said it. <laughs> yeah. But does going to adult prison scare you more than anything? No, nah, to be honest, I'd probably rather be in adult prison than here because this is just, I don't know, this is just, it's a daycare. It's, I mean, yeah, I mean, we got some of the same things that, you know, prisons got and stuff like, I mean, like hooch and fights and stuff like that, but it's, that's going to happen regardless when you get a whole bunch of guys around each other. I mean, people's going to argue and fight and stuff, but it's, prison's more, prison's more for me than this place is. From, I mean, I ain't never it's been there, but from what my dad's told, yeah. When stuff pops off in prison, it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's brief. And then it's right back to nothing. But out is where you really want to be. Yeah, out, I ain't yeah. going to prison. I don't care. Nobody's I'd rather be free, on. but I mean, if I had to choose from here and across the street, I'd probably just turn around, cuff up, let it take me over there. But I'm sitting there before too. <laughs> well, but you're both close to getting out. I know you're leaving. I'm supposed to be leaving 17. 17. Do you know yet? I don't know for sure, but it could be within probably the next two and a half, three months. So if you stay on your levels, get all your levels, go through release, then you hopefully in a couple of months will be out of here. Yeah. Right now, the biggest thing is getting these groups done down here, the STG groups. And then... Paperwork. Yeah, by then my, my placement will be back, so I should be able to go home.